Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hacking Maths. This episode, we are going to calculate the equation of a line of linear regression and its correlation coefficient. So switch your calculator on and let's begin. First, we need to put the table of data into the calculator. So press Stat, press Enter, and this takes us to the list entry screen. You can see we have L1, L2, and L3 visible. These relate to the first, second, and third lists respectively. There are six lists, however, the calculator only displays three at a time. If you have data like I do in a list, just scroll up so L1 is selected, press clear, press enter, and that's L1 now clear. So now that our lists are clear, we can enter the data. So just press the number followed by the enter key. So two, enter, five, enter, and so on. Once we've entered in all the values for the X, we need to scroll right, and we can now enter the values into list two for the Y. Check that you've entered the values correctly, and once you have, what you can then do is press second in mode, and this takes us back to the main screen. To calculate the line of linear regression with its correlation coefficient, we need to switch on a special mode. That mode is called diagnostic. To do that, press second and then zero. This takes us to a catalog list. So now we can scroll down until we reach diagnostic on. It's not too far. Once you've reached diagnostic on and the arrow is pointing at it, press enter twice. This is switched to diagnostic mode on. Now we are actually ready to calculate the line of linear regression and its correlation coefficient. So press stat. Scroll to the right so calc is highlighted and now scroll down until you find linreg ax plus b. Press enter. If you are using the latest version of the TI-84 Plus software, you will be presented with a screen like this. Here, you can designate which lists are used for the X and Y values. If you have used the same list as me, then your calculator screen should look the same as mine. However, if it says something else, you can change the list by pressing second and the appropriate number. For example, if my X values were, were in L3, pressing second 3 changes the list to L3. As you can see, it now says L3. However, as my lists are actually in L1, I need to change that back. So highlight the L3 by pushing back, then press second one, and you can see it's changed back to L1. Once the lists are set up, we don't need to worry about the other settings. Highlight calculate by scrolling down and press enter. Your screen should now look like mine. Notice that the calculator has calculated R squared and R. If we had not switched diagnostic on, then we, would be, we wouldn't be getting these values. So, I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you again on Hacking Maths.